What's going on everybody? Core here from Core Gaming and we are back with another Heroes of the Storm video. This is what I'm going to be calling Storm Sunday. Um, I'm not sure I released one yesterday on Saturday. It was a uh, it's been a busy busy weekend. I do want to try and get this monkey though. Yes. So here we are with Sergeant Hammer in Specialists Week. Come on, come on, give us gold, give us gold. There we go. For our first talent, we are going to go with our trait talent. Advanced artillery, increase the damage to distant enemies. That means the further something is away from us, the more damage it will do. I guess I am going top with Asmodan. Two specialists, one lane. Whatever, whatever. I think that might be the master skin of Asmodan. Could be wrong. Chinky monkey. So. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Sergeant Hammer is literally the... Um... The, it, it's literally the siege hero. It is the, the the hero that literally goes into siege mode and sieges stuff, just like this. So, max range, doing bonus damage, and in siege mode, which is our E ability, doing um, uh, uh, explosive? No, uh, splash damage. So, as I hit this, I'm splashing to the other structures around it, and I'm also splashing to the other mobs around it. Oh no, oh no, and we, we, we ticked them off, we ticked them off. I'm gonna hit Z, which is our thrusters, and I just thrust her away a little bit quicker. So our E mode, our E mode, our E uh, swaps us between siege mode and uh, siege mode and tank mode. So here we have tank mode, and here we have siege mode. Uh oh. Oh no! Sylvanas got us because we got left alone. Yeah, we were, we were pushing super hard that lane and then I don't know where people went. People decided they were gonna go. So, heading into the objective mode, I'm gonna be heading top. Just gonna let everybody else know that. I, th I see that they're heading bottom for the most part there. Um, but we've got Butcher right top there with Osmodon and I'm, I'm on my way, Osmodon. I'm coming. I just hit my thruster so I can try and get there a little bit quicker. And I think I should be able to lay down some mines and start hitting. Uh oh. Okay, so there's a bunch of them here, but they're low, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get away. I'm gonna go siege mode and just kind of sit here, wait, see if anyone comes in range. There's one of them. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, go siege mode again. Okay. And now the objective is getting us, and mistakes have been made! I didn't think I'd just automatically start attacking it. I definitely did not right-click it. Uh, we did just hit level 4, though. I'm going to pick up my level 4 talent. Now, this one, uh, this one I say is one of the best tiers of talents. Um, the only talent I really would not recommend taking is uh, ex Excessive Force. If there's going to be a lot of hero damage, you, you may want to take Focused Attack. If there's going to be, uh, if you're going to be taking a lot of damage, you want to do some bonus healing, you can do that. And if you just want to go for rounded out damage, you can go for Maelstrom Shells, which increase basic attack range. I think I am going to go for basic attack range. Just going to go for the full, uh, the full Hamilton here, and just try and beef up my attacks, my attacks, my attack range as much as possible. We got to defend this one. Uh oh. Bye, Nova. Gonna start hitting Butcher there. And come over here. Looks like we stole some of their stuff. Now, by increasing our basic attack range here, it makes it so that we can chase a little bit easier. We gotta get down here. I'm gonna avoid their towers. Slightly. Maybe siege mode just a second here and hit Sylvanas, since she doesn't really understand that I'm here. Am I in range of that tower? I am. Now, normally during the objective, I definitely think that, you know, you should be going for the objective. You should not stop and do what I'm doing right here. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not practicing what I preach by any means whatsoever. But in this situation, you know, down here, well, we are down by a lot. But this is just the first objective. And them getting a terror now would not be the end of the world. That being said, I am coming down here right now because it looks like Li Ming is getting chased hard. I'm going to... Oh, cry. I'm going to cry. Yes, I cried. 
Uh, but we've got Asmodan moving in, Li Meng moving in, and Nova moving in, and they should be able to take out this group of them pretty easily, one would expect. Uh, Nova and Li Meng here with, with uh, Kerrigan. It's just kind of a cluster F right now. I am resurrecting, and I'm going to let everybody know I'm coming down to them right now. And that being said, I'm going to take a drink of water, because blah, 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 talking. Words. It's been a long weekend and a long morning, so... I'm going to sneak up right over here, and I'm going to siege mode right here. Drop some mines right there to give me vision, and I'm hoping I could have teched. It doesn't look I'll be able to look like I'll be able to. There we go. No. I'm using my thrusters way too much to engage, and I should be using it as an escape. There we go. We took him out. I'm going to get away from the tear, because I don't want to be the one tanking it. But I will siege mode. Start hitting the butcher. Who, well, of course, is coming after me again. Getting away. Getting away. Going to hit Kerrigan. That's all right, Kerrigan. You, you kill yourself for the terror. All right, level seven, we are going to go with first aid. Um, I'm not really sure even what the other talents are for that tier, but I know that we do not have a whole lot of defensive abilities or ways to heal ourselves up, and we definitely could use this one. It's very overpowered. 60-second cooldown. Activate to heal 35% of your maximum health over over six seconds. The other talents, uh, increase the slow amount, and a slow amount and duration of slowing mines, and we can reduce the cooldown of our thrusters by 10 seconds, which, you know... That may, maybe that not wouldn't, wouldn't have been such a bad idea, but you know you live you learn I'm not going to tell you exactly which towns to take you can make up your own mind There's that I did hit my active ability Oh, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna siege mode and take this thing out Not sure I can hit the terror this far away, but I'll come up here and start hitting it go. Drop some mines down in case he decides to come back. Now they did do a little bit of damage here, but we were able to take out um, their pods for the most part fairly quickly. Now as he comes up here, I'm going to try and get ahead of him slightly. Siege mode. And start taking him out. Now if he makes the foolish decision to come towards me at all, he would have been screwed. And I think he is pretty well screwed. Osmodon gave him a little bit of an escape, but that's all right. Finally, our ultimate, we're going to go with Napalm Strike. Napalm Strike is a very short cooldown ultimate, and it does a very decent amount of damage. You will find that uh, if you watch a lot of people play heroes, they may take that other talent fairly frequently, uh, the Blunt Force Gun, but I really prefer, prefer Napalm Strike, as it works fairly well, as we just saw. I just took out their Asmodon with it. And now we're going to keep pushing this lane fairly hard. I'm going to siege mode on this tower and we can take it out pretty quickly here, I think. Although Diablo is down here just doing work. We should really defend it. I'm going to napalm strike a little further out there, see if I can get... Nope, Sylvanas did not walk into it. That is alright. did hit her with napalm strike we just need someone to snipe her nope couldn't get her i'm not sure which talent nova took yeah she took precision strike there triple tap could have got her but whatever but whatever that's just my opinion of course y'all know how i feel about triple tap if you've watched my other videos of course uh we did take out one of their towers but we're kind of in an even uh, situation here because they've done damage to this tower and this tower where we have done very little damage to this tower and this tower nice. Night is falling in 20 seconds. I'm going to go top. And then I'm going to go right there. There we go. We got we got one camp to first to, to first to play their camp down south, which is great. I'm going to go up top just to actually you know what? I'm going to help them get this camp right here a little bit quicker. And I siege mode too far away. Fail. Napalm strike coming in. Drop down some mines. Perfect. Let's get this camp quick. If anyone agrees, we can get it quick, but I don't think so. I'm gonna drop Napalm Strike in. 
I haven't really talked about the other ability, so I can do that right now. Our W is Concussive Blast, deals damage and pushes enemies away. Our Q ability lays down some mines. Uh, three mines that deal damage and slow targets hit. Oh, that was no bueno. I'm going to thrust her to get away here. Uh, we just hit level 13. I believe I'm going to take... Mm, this is always a tough one for me. Create a wall of path. Oh, no. Um, let's see. We're doing a fair bit of hero damage. I'm going to go with giant killer. Now, th this talent here, I always do pick you know, something different for the most part. Uh, the other good ones on this talent here would be first strike and maybe even barricade. I don't know. I've never taken barricade. I'm going to drop a Napalm Strike in here to take out this group fairly quickly. Like I said, Napalm Strike has a short cooldown, which is very helpful. I'm going to see how we do here against this Terror by ourselves. And Siege Mode, not the greatest for getting away from stuff. Drop Napalm Strike in. And Asmodon can keep... We can, we, he and I can just keep doing work here. I'll drop a Napalm Strike every six seconds. And I'm going to get stunned, which is not good. This is going to deal a significant amount of damage to me. But it looks like I am okay. I'm going to Thrusters to get away. I'm going to hit our active ability here to heal up. Up, oh, and we've got... We are chained up, which is not good. We are going to go down with Butcher, but hopefully Osmodon can take the Butcher out. It looks like Butcher is going to get away, though. So, hopefully... Osmodon can finish off this terror up here without the help of our friendlies. Be sure you pick them all up, Osmodon, because if they get one more, they will have a terror. Good job, good job. My children must rest. Our terror did do really good work here, really good work. We lost the tower at some point, probably from one of those camps, but we have a keep down to 25% health, and we really just need to get in there slightly and just, you know, sneeze on it, and that'll take it out. Just rezzed, and I'm going to hit my thrusters so I can get a little boost to my speed, and I think I'm going to try and sneak in and, and sneeze on that keep. It would take just two or three hits from hammer, and I think I can do that. I think I can handle that. Sneaky, sneaky. Nice! We just took out two of their major damage dealers. Sneaking around, sneaking around. Osmodon is near, I would have to say. Yeah, I, Artana says worth it. That's because he lost his life so that we could get two of theirs. Completely worth it. All right, going to sneak in here, watching my range. Right there, I'm in range. I'm going to drop Napalm Strike right here. Deal extra damage. A couple more hits. Drop some mines to keep you safe. Napalm Strike again. Boom, took it out. Thrusters. Going to thrust her to get away. And it worked just fine. Perfect. Hit level 16 before the enemy team. Uh, I'm going to grab... Uh, hover Siege Mode. Hover Siege Mode will allow us to move in Siege Mode, which is going to be great. I'll demonstrate it right here. As we are enter Siege Mode, we are actually able to move uh, at 50% speed. Tiger Shark has left the game. We lost our Nova. Not that big a deal. I'm going to come in here and get these orbs quick. Take out these two. Napalm Strike them. Siege Mode. Just going to keep soaking this lane. Keep ahead of them in XP. Going to hit level 17 before they do. Perfect, perfect. Going to lose that orb because I'm hover siege moding it up. Kerrigan is running away from me, which is strange. I mean, I think she could take me fairly easily. Yep, yep, yep. Going to knock her away. Going to heal up. Going to hit my E and thrust her away again. Napalm strike, and she runs away, of course. Going to come back because I have a camp pushing with me now. See if she wants to come in again. Come on. Come play. Okay, okay. Mistakes were made! <laughs> they all kind of zerged up, zerged up on me. We were pushing down south here and I was just... I was overextending a bit far in that middle lane. Let's check the stats, see how we're doing though. We've got 52,000 siege damage, which is not bad. Um, we could be could be doing better. Six deaths highest on the team, that is terrible. And 15,000 siege, da er, siege damage, hero damage, uh, middle of the pack. Uh, lowest for XP contribution. This is not my best game, but still I feel that I am showcasing Hammer uh, fairly well, fairly well. The rest of my team is doing very good though, and they are keeping us alive in this match. 
I will say, I have made some key moves with Hammer, including early game pushing at the center lane and getting us through quickly, and then taking out that keep. Uh, which is allowing us to have empowered minions pushing the middle lane now. We are going to hit 20 fairly soon. Now, I'll admit, I, I don't actually hit 20 too often with Hammer. I'm going to go south and defend. I got south defense. Y'all get objective. Objective. Too far. Going to siege mode up. I'll be able to take care of these things fairly quickly. Then we've got another camp coming in here. Oh, let's read our let's read our R. I, I I picked it up and never really said what it does. Napalm strike deals 332 damage upon impact and leaves a napalm area that deals 101 damage per second, lasting for four seconds. And then napalm strike again right here on the ground. We're just gonna slowly move away from these guys while we're attacking. Napalm strike again. Being close to the core here, I don't mind uh, taking a little bit extra damage because I can just go back and heal up fairly quickly. And we are about to get our another um, 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 terror here, and I'm going to run over and see if I can grab it. Whoops. That was supposed to be Z, not E. We got it coming up. Are we getting it? I'm gonna heal up. Go, Nova. You got this. Don't get stunned, Nova. We just need six more. Six more. Uh, their terror is coming in south, it looks like. And we're going to get ours right now. I'm going to pick it up in 15 seconds. If, you know, they pick up those seeds. Just walk over them, Asmodon. There you go. There you go. Let everybody know that I got it. Not a lot to talk about here. I'm just kind of waiting around. I'm going to circle them. Why not? Right? Uh, I hope you all are enjoying Specialists Week here on Core Gaming. It's been a lot of fun to play all these specialists, some of which I've I actually just learned for this week. Nazebo, I just learned for this week. I'm gonna walk down the south patch, I think, and well, let's see. Yeah, south looks like it's got the the, the best way best way through. I'm gonna do work on another keep, see if we can get some more empowered minions. We've still got our three cre three creeps, three keeps left, but they are breaking through um, all of our doors, I think. Yeah, they've done damage to the top and they've done damage to the bottom lane. But we're going to walk in here. We're going to hit our overgrowth and do work here. It looks like most of them are pushing with their... Um, up there, they're pushing top lane with their terror. So I'm going to do work down here while they pretty much ignore me. Uh, one of them may hearth back and do work. Who knows? Uh, for our level... going to drop another overgrowth. For our level 20 talent, we are going to pick up Nexus Frenzy. Uh, I just hit level 20 with a hammer game yesterday and I, I was playing with a friend and I asked him which 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 one should I take and he says Nexus Friendly all, all the way and it's well it's we'll talk about what it does here in a second. I'm just gonna keep pushing these lanes while we got the opportunity. Hopefully they mount a defense here. There we go. And I'll move in on the last keep. They are on our core right now. Um we should have enough there to defend, one would expect. Core is down to 50, we got a double kill. No, don't attack me. Gonna drop another overgrowth. Uh, so Nexus Frenzy, increase attack speed by 20% and inc increase attack range by 20%. Going to try and sheep Diablo here, and I failed. I'm just gonna... I only got seven seconds left. I'm going to try and drop another overgrowth right there. Drop a polymorph. I did polymorph one of them. I'm going to hit my thrusters and get away. Now, they did do work on our core. Our core got to 50%, but our core is going to regain its shield, and I took out all of their keeps. This is not how it ends. Go core. Yeah, go core. I agree. We ought to capture this camps. Camp. Camps, camps, camps. I can't, I can't get camps by myself. I'll try, I guess. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> I suppose we are level 20. LD makes here to help. Perfect. We're gonna go up and get this next one with... Whoops. Oh, our enemy's got a tear. That's not the greatest thing in the world, but uh, we should be able to get past that. No problem. So we are just going to move in with these two camps and head straight for their core. And I'm going to get screwed. 
Gonna hit my one and start regening. I'm gonna go siege mode and hit him as he runs away, which was perfect. We're moving in. We do not have to get close at, with hammer. We can get right about here, out of range of the core, and we can siege mode it up. Gonna drop napalm strike on the core, and this looks to be the end of the game. They're, they are moving in on our core, but we are also here on their core. We just need to keep it up, push harder than they do. Our core is at 30%, their, their core is at 70%. As one is leaving, we're taking it out. Their Kerrigan is still hitting our core, seven, five, four, three. Okay, our core is at 3%. All they gotta do is sneeze on it, but our shields are regening, just like their shields are regening. Their shield, their their core is down to 68%. We really, I don't know. <laughs> I think we just need to push core. I mean, we've got a camp pushing right now that they are defending from. Um, Osmodon is trying to sneak in up here, and we're gonna take him out. They are they are three down. They are three down. Just go core together. And it looks like our Osmodon is healing up. I thought he may have been AFK. Oh, 13 seconds and we can move back in. They're going to head south to stop uh, Sylvanas and Diablo down there. And then hopefully push the core. Hopefully. I'm going to head south and help them out. I'm just going to go wherever they are going. I'm going to try and stay as a team as much as we possibly can. Again, we have taken out all their keeps, so we have empowered minions pushing all the lanes. We are doing work here against Diablo. Their Diablo has a full res timer, which is great. We're, it looks like our Tannis is going to fall. Oh, but he stays alive, just barely, along with Nova. We are moving in. I'm going to hit thrusters and catch up to everybody quickly. They are four down. We just got to get in on the core, and this is a done deal game. Nice game. This is a lot of fun. I really do enjoy a lot of these specialists, although Butcher is moving in, it looks like. Butcher is going to sneak through this top lane probably and just try and get on the core before we do. I am close enough, I think, to siege mode. Yes, I am. And we are siege moving it up. Yes! And we got to their core before Butcher did. What a fun match. Wow. GG. That was a ton of fun. Uh, like I said, this weekend's been super busy, guys. It is early Saturday morning that I'm doing this, but I got to head to work fairly quickly here. Uh, I'm going to get this video posted as fast as I can. I'm not sure I'll get it done before work, but um, you can expect at least two more specialist videos today, another couple of specialist videos tomorrow, and anything that I do not finish up this weekend, as in Sunday or Monday, I'll get it done the it's Tuesday morning before Zul comes out. I did win in siege damage there. Siege damage and XP contribution that 100% had to come from uh, the Terror, though, when I hopped into the Terror and took out two keeps, all right? So, fun match. Talents I took were right there. Advanced Artillery, Maelstrom Shells, boosting up my range, First Aid, Napalm Strikes, Giant Killer for that extra hero damage, Hover Siege Mode for 50% movement speed in Siege Mode, and Nexus Frenzy for faster attacks. I did not have all that much uh, hero damage, so Giant Killer, probably not the best choice there. Should have gone for a little bit more siege damage, I think. All right, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.